What's down with everybody? It's your boy Mooka Jones for Radio R Sports Debates. Kevin Garnett just exposed LeBron James, man, right? Um, Kevin Garnett was on a podcast, right? And he's been exposing what I've been already knowing about this man, LeBron James, right? Um, as y'all know, man, we've been producing episodes for quite a month now. Um, if you go back in the summer and go on, like, or our recent couple of videos back in the last, what, six, seven months, exposing how LeBron James is allegedly on PDs, right? Um, there have been athletes, you know, um, guys that men came out there and put their reputation and their resume on the line just to come out there and expose how LeBron James is on uh, PEDs, right? Um, there have been investigations, right, um, that was investigating to see LeBron James was allegedly on PEDs, right? And even though they cleared him, there was still some suspicion that LeBron James might be on it, right? And um, why would they not investigate if there wasn't any suspicion that LeBron James was on allegedly PEDs, EPOs, right? Um, Chell Sonnen came out there and said that LeBron James was on PEDs and that they have the same dealer, right? We're talking about a guy, Chell Sonnen, who's in a sport where, you know, a lot of guys that pop for steroids, EPOs, you name it, performing hexing and drugs. Chell Sonnen is in that sport in the UFC, right? Um, we talking about that he is a guy that is well-respected um, in the UFC as well, right? And we talk about he had called out guys from like John Jones, Anderson Silva, Chris Cyborg, uh, TJ Dillashaw, many other fighters that have been accused of using those steroids and EPOs and who got caught dirty, right? So that's what we're talking about, Chelsea Sonnen. LeBron James was investigated as well. Um, but Kevin Garnett, a guy that is LeBron James, you know, uh, rival, a guy that's competed against LeBron James, right? Was basically on a podcast, and this what he had to say. Brian to get a uh, bucket on Brian right now? Yeah, he can get a bucket on no Brian way. right nope. now. Nope. Yeah, he right can get a bucket. No way. Now nah, he can get a bucket on Brian. Dad averaging right twenty five. No, I didn't say he ain't. I don't care what he's doing, but he no. ain't sliding playing that defensive level. Twenty five? Right. Nah, nah. Lord, twenty five? You still? Lord, he dunking? He's still dunking the ball with? I'm saying that Bronny can get a bucket on Brian. I'm saying he can't. One rollout, get a buck. Three dribbles? No way. You, I'm yeah, talking he about. He can get a bucket on No, no, no. Man, he, man, come on. That little dude explosive, bro. He is, he but you see his dad? His dad on that balcony, yeah, he he on that new he juice. He ain't that sliding come like he used to. He ain't sliding like his, his son can get a bucket. A bucket? Like, bet. How we gonna know? How bet. we gonna know? How we gonna how we gonna know? They be in the backyard. He can get, you give him five attempts, he gonna get a bucket. He probably can't get a bucket on me, but, you know. Oh, I tried to tell y'all, man. I tried to tell y'all that this man LeBron James was on that juice. And even Kevin Garnett was like, bro, come on, bro. He on that new Blanco, bro. He on that, man. LeBron James is absolutely having enhancements for him to play, play that long, bro. Real talk. And it's quite ironic that fans still deny it to this day. When there's athletes... And other players that have came out there and sat there and said that LeBron James allegedly on those PDs on EPOs, right? Now, everybody was like, Mookie, why would Kevin Garnett come out there and say that? Why would Kevin Garnett lie? We're talking about Kevin Garnett is well-respected. He's on a podcast, right? He know what he was doing, bro. Kevin Garnett know the real. He know that, man. And I'm not saying that LeBron James is, in fact, on it. Because, you know, there's been situations where he be clear. But I'm saying that... It won't shock me that LeBron James is not on it, bro. It won't shock me, bro, because we have seen so many times, right, where, say, for instance, in 20, the start of the 2014 to 15 season, right, where LeBron James came into that season, you know, uh, you know, not in shape. Um, I think he lost a lot of weight. I, lost, I think he lost like 30 or 40 pounds, right? He wasn't playing above the rim, right? He was so skinny. He was so small, right? Uh, he was not looking like LeBron James, right? He took a two-week hiatus to a biogenist in Miami, right? Then after that, bro, right, uh, he came back full of muscle, full of weight, playing above the rim, looking like the dominant LeBron James, right? So it's not, it's not you know, uh, ironic that we, we have seen instances where LeBron James lose all this weight and he looks so super skinny then take a two weeks by a hiatus to miami right to go to this so-called biogenist right and then come back full of muscle and full of pounds and full of weight don't quite notice too tell me why lebron james uh you know um 
his best friend, his teammate, his guy that he's very, very close with, Tristan Kardashian, got popped with some steroids and some EPOs used as well, right? We telling me that it's not a correlation, that it's not it's not traced back to LeBron James, right? Uh, come on, bro. We gotta be honest with ourselves, chat. We gotta be honest with ourselves and speak the real, right? Do you know that LeBron James' friend and Chris Paul, right, who was the president of, of the Player Association, right, who was LeBron James' best partner, best friend, right, told the NBA back, I believe, in 2015, 2016, to stop testing for steroids and EPOs and all that other stuff. I'm like, why? Why? Why would you stop? Why would you tell them to stop doing that? But that's LeBron James' best friend that sat there and told the NBA to stop testing for those uh, uh, uh EPO steroids and all that other stuff, bro. So I'm saying that it it is it is very very clear that I, I think it's some very very you know it can come out true that LeBron James is on those EPOs and on those steroids as well, bro. We got to be honest with ourselves, and I'm gonna tell you when LeBron James retired, there's gonna be some information, some factual information that LeBron James is on that. And when it comes out, bro, I wonder what the ESPNs, the the, the the Shannons of the world, and you know the people that suck up LeBron James. I wonder what they're gonna go out there and say. I wonder what they're going to say about this, right? Because when you have athletes like Chael Sonnen, and you have other players that come out there and say that LeBron James is allegedly on that, bro, and he hasn't come out there and denied those allegations. It, it makes it makes it very very funny, bro. Right? Part of uh being on steroids is you know what I'm saying and allegedly on EPOs is uh you know LeBron James having a lump in his jaw, right? Uh, that's part of the reason about using the steroids too as well, bro. Right? So you know it, it's it's quite ironic, right? We, we I'm not gonna sit there and just deny that he's not possibly on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is sad. I want y'all to look at this picture in 2015, man. Does this look like LeBron? I mean, look at it. Look how skinny he looks. This do not look like LeBron James. I mean, look at the picture. This do not look like LeBron. He came into that season skinny as I don't know what, right? Was not playing above the rim. Went to a biogenesis as well, right? And then he came back full of muscle, ready to perform at a high level, chat. This is sad. Do you know that LeBron James' teammates and Rashad Lewis got busted by HGH, right? The same old biogenesis that LeBron James went to to take that two-week high hiatus? This is facts. You can go look it up. So when there's other players, and when you have the DEA, right, the Drug Enforcement Agency, even has suspicion that LeBron James is even on it, and they investigate LeBron James, even though they cleared LeBron James, the fact that there was even in the investigations shows to me that they suspect LeBron James being on those. EPOs and eight uh PEDs and that and that Blanco that Kevin Garnett accused of me. And, and if more information comes out, when more information comes out, and they can actually factually prove, like like give more information to suggest that LeBron James is on it. Oh, he 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 is not a top ten player all the time, not twenty twenty. He is a race for the record book. And you have some people today that still believes that LeBron James is on it. Right? That smoothie business? Oh, we got to talk about that, right? I know LeBron James' personal trainer and his connection, uh, Alexander Ace Vito, whatever his guy name is, bro. He basically sat there and ratted on LeBron James, right, when he was investigated by authorities. He, the quote went on to say, as for Alexander, Ace Vito told Authorities, the trainer initially paid for him for the drugs, but the duo later worked out a deal where Alexander would receive substance for free in return for referring new clients to Ace Vito. Fish wrote, among the referrals, Ace Vito said 
he was M I M S. I don't know what he, what that says. I don't you know. But as for Alexander connection to James, it's been known that he had worked with Alexander during his time with the Heat and Cavs. However, the documents identify Alexander as James' wife, personal trainer. Hmm. Y'all got to know that LeBron James' um, wife did have that smoothie business as well, right? The documents, uh, there was also documents that shared that James' wife and Alexander co-owned a cold-pressed ju juice smoothie uh, um, business at the time, bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. And he got investigated by authorities, and he basically was found give, guilty of using those performance enhancing your drugs, bro. It's all you need to know. It's all you need to know. That man, LeBron James, is on it, man. He is on that juice, bro. Real talk, man. We got to be honest with ourselves, chat. Because why has he came out and denied those allegations? Why has he came out and sued Chell Sonnen, sued KG, sued everybody? Why has he came out and done that? But Because he know he's guilty. He know he is guilty. But that's all I got for y'all today. Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comment section. It's your boy Mookie Jones and I am out.